Hey, what's up, people? This is day two of our weekly challenge. We're playing match points once again against the robot, and where we left off on Monday was this hand, number three. We have this pretty well-shaped 16 count. I will tell you, this shape is really tough to deal with um, in any situation, but uh, especially with the robot sometimes. I... With without both four card majors, sometimes, sometimes I might consider opening a no trump even with a small singleton, just because it confuses the robot so significantly during the play that it can be a huge advantage. However, I'm I'm reticent to do that, especially early in a tournament like we discussed in in round one of this session. I don't want to do anything weird, and I'm 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 really on a on a significant downside if we have a major suit fit and partner has some sort of weak hand, right? Think about a partner with like a seven or an eight count that doesn't think it has enough to invite. If I open a no trump, it's going to go all pass, and I'm going to be playing a no trump when the robot is going to be playing one of those major suits in an easier contract, right, with our shape. So I think the risk is too great to do anything weird here by opening a no trump. I'm just gonna open a diamond and hope my partner makes one of these bids right here, nice. So now make your call. What do you do when it goes a diamond past a spade? Make your bid. I'm gonna make mine relatively quickly, so pause it if you need to. And I'll tell you, it's not, not as clear cut as we would like. Uh, it's right between a three and a four spade bid. Um, three spades would be like 16 to 18 and your four card raise of spades. As you can see, we have 16 high card points. We have a double, I'm uh, sorry, a singleton and clubs. So that gets our hand up to a good 18. Um, I, I think the robot is likely to kick it into game anyway, but I don't want to give it that risk. I'm going to give it four spades. And here now we see the, the question I always get in these spots, by the way is what happens when you jump to four spades, you know, showing this big hand and partner has a good hand. Well, this is what happens, right? When we bid four no Trump, we're showing about 19, right? And we're saying basically in, in English, we're saying to partner opposite your six count that you're showing me your minimum, I think I can play game. And like we talked, this is a, we stretch just a little bit. So we don't love seeing four no Trump here, but what are we gonna do? We answer four no Trump when they ask. And what is your response to this? Remember the robots play key card Blackwood here. So what would, what would this hand be bidding with spades as the Trump suit? Five spades, right? We have two key cards, the ace of parts and the ace of diamonds, and we have the queen of our trump suit, which is spades. That's what we do. And partner kicks it into six. We'll hope we have enough for them. <laughs> we, wow, this is going to be interesting. We're we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Um, but this might be fun. Okay, so we have to recognize that from this very start, we are going to have one club loser for sure. Absolutely, for sure, one club loser. We also have a potential diamond loser. In fact, it looks like we are going to realize a loser in that suit unless we can get some sort of way to keep uh, to keep that loser off the menu, basically. And we're going to show you how to do that here by what's called a strip and an end play. So the first part of this process is to strip the hand of all good exits from the opponent's hands. What I mean by that is... We want to, if we're going to let the opponent lead, uh, and we're going to have to, we're going to give the opponents the choice of who gets the lead, unfortunately, which they're probably going to get right. But, 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 we, we can only take what chances are given to us. So here we're stripping all of their options, meaning when we let them in, we only want to give them bad choices, right? So here I'm getting rid of all the other suits that would be good choices for them and bad options for us. So now when I when I run those hearts, all I'm trying to do is just get rid of all their hearts so they can't have that as a choice. I've already drawn Trump so they don't have any spades. So now when I lead this club, the person that wins it has two choices. They can lead a club, which is gonna give us a slough and a rough, which they're doing. <laughs> Or, or, or they could have let a diamond, in which case we have the potential of a free finesse if the king is to our left over here. Here you can see they've chosen option one. They've given us a slough and a rough, right? And recognize they only had two choices here that, that were going to be good for them. Sorry, they only had two choices here, both of which are terrible for them, right? So the, the club, very bad, as you can see, because I'm going to pitch my loser. And I'm going to rough over here. And now I get to play Ace of Diamonds. 
and now dummy just has all those spades or that's not uh, dummy that's the actual declare but here i'm going to claim i'm guessing the king of diamonds was to west right because if it's not they've made a massive mistake and they did they made a terrible choice oh no sorry look at that they have the jack of diamonds uh, sorry hang on let's get to the let's get to the point and show you why this is a problem for them because we actually still have a guess with that ten of diamonds over there in dummy so let's get to their moment here so first things first we have to recognize two losers we can't take two we're in six so here comes our strip strip them of any exits now they just have diamonds and clubs and now throw them in with a club recognize west or excuse me east here knows it doesn't want to win because they are the ones that have to lead that diamond now so they want to keep partner on lead so when they're forced to win they also have a problem if they lead the jack of diamonds the hand is over we play the queen it goes king ace and that 10 is a winner if they play low though we now have a guess we can play a low diamond and that will force the king and then that queen will be good so which one do you think was better by the way which should west choose yeah they should choose a diamond because at least now we have to get it right the club we have no we have no problems right we know exactly what to do with the club we won't know exactly what to do with the diamond so 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 the diamond is a slightly better play for west but we appreciate them helping us out i'm glad I, and you know based on how i'm running with some of these decisions i probably would have gotten that one wrong so it was very nice for them to do that but this is another example of just giving them the opportunity to help us and also you know at this point we can see they can do slightly better but they chose they chose differently and we were able to realize plus 980 um that'll be uh, that'll be interesting i don't know if, if we bid three spades i'm wondering will they continue they might not actually uh if we only bid three spades maybe they would make some sort of control bid but they don't they only bid first rock control so they wouldn't i don't know they would just bid four spades so we might be way ahead now if this was imps but it's match points so here this might only just be a win of of one of the boards so we we kind of wish we were playing imps when we we have a slam swing like this but whatever we'll we'll, we'll take a good uh, 100 percent on that board instead here is our second chance to excel for the morning here and okay five four in the majors this is a hand we do not upgrade to one no trump just because we have nine cards in the major suits All right no reason to do this we bid a spade partner bids two clubs which is dreary folks this is hey partner i have a limit raise up to about 11 uh and what i like the modern method is more like a good constructive up to about 11 and at least three card support so here usually you're going to ask yourself one question when you see a jury bid and the answer is or, or <laughs> the question is uh do we have enough values for game opposite this this jury bid over there and the answer is yeah right you're you, you don't have like the most ideal hand but you clearly have enough to play game opposite someone inviting you to that game with this shape and the values you're looking at so this is usually one of the simpler auctions you'll see one spade jury or one heart jury four of that major right i know we have game let's get there Ooh, okay take a look at the dummy there and plan a little bit of your play so it might be a fun hand here the lead is just so good <laughs> we love when they make our job easier right what they've done is uh they've taken us from having to possibly take two roughs in that north hand down to one or maybe none if we're getting really lucky here because this free finesse is just magic right we get to win this first trick with the nine okay <laughs> thank you robot and now we'll see maybe we get to pitch um something more useful for us in dummy if we get three pitches meaning we get to take all three of these the queen falls at some point we'll get to get rid of either three diamonds or three clubs meaning we're down to one instead of two potential losers in either of those suits but 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 we're going to draw some trump first right there's no reason for us not to draw trump we we delay drawing trump when we might have to take some roughs in the shorthand but notice unless we're getting a four zero trump break we'll have plenty of time to rough a heart if we even need to or a diamond if we need to at some point as well so here i'm just going to get to the business of drawing some trump there's the ten of spades beautiful i'm going to try to win this in my hand so i can play hearts right so that that ten of spades play was you know to maybe get them to cover but also i get this nice little play here i get to stay in my hand and now we're going to test out that heart suit i'm going to pitch diamonds right i'm going to try to pitch all three diamonds if i can and then rough a diamond i can't right so now i have to just rough a heart 
Right, there's my loser gone for that hard suit. Now, what should I leave? It's a recognize this might be the last time you're in that dummy. Get the work done that you need to get done, and it should be pretty obvious. You're not going to lead a club from that hand. You're going to lead a diamond towards the king. This is the only play you ever have with this suit. When you have king small, you're going to just lead towards it. And if you see the ace, great. And if you don't, you play the king 100% of the time, right? So the first minor suit, no go. The second one will will be led for us, and we'll take this one. <laughs> the ace of clubs is on side anyway. We were going to get this right and recognize we didn't have a finesse in clubs, so this was also going to be low to the king. We had jack nine. If we had jack ten, we might have a guess in that club suit, but here this suit's just going to play itself usually. And at least one of those minor suits was, was positioned well for us, and that is another plus 620. Boom, boom, we will take that. And let's take a look at that hand before we look uh, ahead to tomorrow's hands. Uh, good contract for us, right? Ace of clubs being right was excellent. If the ace of diamonds was right, we'll take one extra trick, right? Or if they were uh, generous with that heart position and the queen fell shorter than fourth there, maybe we would have been able to pitch that diamond also. But plus 620 is good enough. We get to our game and we make it. And there's really no more tricks that we could take on this hand. So... Let's get back and see what just transpired on this hand. I am so excited to bring this hand to you tomorrow because the auction starts one spade by our partner, two spades on our right. That's five hearts and five of one of those minor suits. The question is, what call will you make with this hand? And we'll get to that tomorrow in this robot challenge tomorrow's hump day halfway through the the week and also tomorrow is the last bridge quiz of the year it is december 14th today and december 15th we'll see the last bridge quiz it's going to be a two-hour extravaganza extra questions new concepts and new uh format uh and in some spots as well that i'm looking to test out so if you have not made a bridge quiz uh this semester yet this is the one not to miss and if you can't make it live at 3 30 on wednesdays just pick it up and you can have it on replay and it'll be a massive amount of notes and a great review of the year so join us for that and until next time have a great day and enjoy any of the games that you are involved with take care guys